coastal motor boat. During the First World War, following a suggestion from three junior officers of the Harridge Destroyer Force that small motor boats carrying a torpedo might be capable of traveling over the protective minefields and attacking ships of the Imperial German Navy. These boats were expected to have a high speed, making use of the lightweight and powerful petrol engines then available. The speed of the boat when fully loaded was to be at least 30 knots 56 km slash h and sufficient fuel was to be carried to give a considerable radius of action. They were to be armed in a variety of ways, with torpedoes, depth charges, or for laying mines. Secondary armament would have been provided by light machine guns, such as the Lewis gun. The weight of a fully loaded boat, complete with 18-inch 450 mm torpedo, was to not exceed the weight of the 30-foot 9.1-in long motor boat then carried in the davits of a light cruiser, i.e. 4.5 tons. The CMB were designed by Thornacroft, who had experience in small fast boats. Engines were not proper maritime internal combustion engines as these were in short supply, but adapted aircraft engines from firms such as Sunbeam and Napier. 40-foot coastal motor boats in 1910, Thornacroft had designed and built a 25 FT7.6 in speedboat called Miranda Roman IV. She was a single step hydroplane powered by a 120 HP 89 kW Thornacroft petrol engine and could reach 35 knots 65 km slash h. A 40 FT12 in boat based on Miranda Roman IV was accepted by the Admiralty for trials. A number of these boats were built and had a distinguished service history, but in hindsight they were considered to be too small to be ideal particularly in how their payload was limited to a single 18-inch torpedo. Several companies were approached, but only Thornacroft considered it possible to meet such a requirement. In January 1916, 12 boats were ordered, all of which were completed by August 1916. Further boats were built, to a total of 39. The restriction on weight meant the torpedo could not be fired from a torpedo tube, but instead was carried in a rear-facing trough. On firing it was pushed backwards by a cordite firing pistol and a long steel ram, entering the water tail first. A trip wire between the torpedo and the ram head would start the torpedo motors once pulled taut during release. The CMB would then turn hard over and get out of its path. There is no record of a CMB ever being hit by its own torpedo, but in one instance the firing pistol was triggered prematurely and the crew had a tense 20 minutes close to the enemy whilst reloading it. Service History Survivors The hull of CMB-4 in which Augustus Agar won his VC for the attack on Kronstadt Naval Base in 1919 and sank the cruiser Oleg was, for many years, at the Vosper Thornacroft works on Platz Ayat on the Thames near Kingston. When these works closed it was restored, and can now be seen in Boathouse 4 at Portsmouth Historic Dockyard, where it is on loan from the Imperial War Museum Duxford with details of these boats and the action. Agar's VC is at the War Museum in London. The hull of the other remaining example, CMB-9, is identical to that of CMB-4, for many years thought to be the sole survivor of the type. Her crew consisted of Archibald Darrell Reed and Lieutenant Harold Drew. CMB-9 was converted to a distance control boat in 1918, the first CMB so converted, and in so doing became DC Bone. The DCB role was and still is in part classified, completely autonomous, unmanned and radio controlled via aircraft, therefore can considered to be the first autonomous drone vessel. Following the success of the Royal Flying Corps drone aerial target aircraft trials in March 1917, AM, Lowe's experimental works at Feltham adapted their radio control system, enabling two DCB craft to be controlled from one aircraft and proving in the 1918 trials that a flotilla of up to eight DCB could be controlled in close formation. At the conclusion of extensive post-war trials, CMB-9 slash DC Bone was converted back to her original condition, remaining in service until 1950.
She has been restored in her role as CMB9 and is based at Ava Myth and took part in the 2014 Remembrance Day events in Bristol. The boat is listed on the Register of National Historic Ships, Certificate No. 2430. 55-foot coastal motor boats. Larger versions of the 40-footer were ordered in 1916. In 1917, John I. Thornicroft and Company produced an enlarged 60-foot 18M overall version. This allowed a heavier payload, and now two torpedoes could be carried. A mixed warload of a single torpedo and four depth charges could also be carried, the depth charges released from individual cradles over the sides rather than a stern ramp. Speeds from 3541 knots 4047 mph 6576 km/h were possible, depending on the various petrol engines fitted. At least two unexplained losses due to fires in port are thought to have been caused by a buildup of petrol vapor igniting. It was these larger boats that entered the harbor during the Kronstadt raid and torpedoed the Soviet ships. The design was so successful that more were built during World War Roman II. The last survivor, MTB 331, is of this group, built in 1941. Survivors, MTB 331, owned by Hampshire County Council and on loan to the British Military Powerboat Trust BMPT at Marchwood, is the sole surviving 55 CMB. Built in 1941, the penultimate 55 built, her design was based on that of the CMB of 1917 with two V-12 engines. Her post-war history is incomplete, but she was registered as the John at Tainmouth. She was acquired by the Council around 1990. Some restoration after this was carried out at Pretty's Hard, then she was transported by road to BMPT Marchwood in March 2000. 70-foot coastal motor boat 1272, FT Long CMB were ordered in early 1918 for mine-laying seven magnetic mines or torpedo work six torpedoes. Five were cancelled of the remainder. Three survived the Second World War, with CMB-103 MT preserved as a museum ship. CMB-103 was restored in August 2011 and is on display at the historic dockyard at Chatham.